All right, I don't know what the title of this video is gonna be, something on the, along the lines of when he was living his best life, she came back around. Maybe that's what it'll be, I don't know. But uh, I'm back in the swing of filming. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to release at least one video every three days minimum. Sometimes you'll see more, sometimes you'll see less. Now without you know, further ado, uh, actually before I go forward, I do wanna talk about where you guys can reach me. When I don't release a new video, some of my really old videos really get pushed in the algorithm. So I think those old videos were not optimized by me in terms of telling you guys uh, where you can reach me. Um, I should go back and probably, you know, edit the description boxes, but some people don't even look at description boxes. So the main place you can all reach me is right on my website at masculineenergy.net. Now, masculine and energy are both, uh, the E's are both there. So it's two E's in the whole thing and it will all be down below in the description box. You can uh, actually um, just you know copy and paste or whatever. But uh, you can also reach out to me on Instagram, just masculine underscore energy is my name um, and my email address. Again, all down below. So if you want coaching by, by, by me um, through either phone call or whatever, right on my website there is that page, the coaching page, which has a video. Watch the video and it'll explain everything to you. Email coaching is actually also, you know, like, like email slash WhatsApp coaching. WhatsApp coaching is super easy. You tell me what you need to, you know, what you need help with, right? A lot of people want help with money these days because I'm telling you about it now. Uh, a lot of people obviously want relationship advice and breakup advice from me. So you guys can tell me your situation on WhatsApp. Once you've paid, send a screenshot to me. So then I see it. I'm like, okay, cool. And then once it's done, I archive it. And if you want to upgrade, you can. So that's how, that's how that goes. So I know it's been a long intro and I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to let you guys know. So I'll probably have a pre-recorded video that I put in front of every video that explains that in 30 seconds or less. But anyway, this one is a student success story, I guess. He came around about a year ago, but the, the, and his story doesn't even really matter because all of you guys are usually dealing with the same sort of issues, okay? Sustaining attraction over time, major, major issue, right? Major issue. So a lot of guys are like, oh, I was great in the beginning, but I'm not, you know, they don't know how to maintain that mystery. They don't know when to back off, when to push forward, right? And I like to say set three dates a week maximum and use that time on your days off to just learn something new, have hobbies, have your friends. Don't give up your friends. Don't tell her that you love her every fucking day, right? Now, being affectionate when you're together is all you need to focus on. Text her once in a while. She's going to reach out to you more and more as she falls in love with you more. And you won't have to. But she's still going to want some effort from you. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? If I was a... See, this is the thing. A lot of you guys don't understand... like. Put yourself in the other person's shoes. If you never got the person you're interested in reaching out to you ever, right? How would that make you feel? Think about that. Now, when a woman's in love with you, she'll be up your fucking ass all the time, trying to always get your attention, right? So you, anybody who's ever been, you know, with a woman who's, who's totally enamored with him, it's borderline fucking annoying. <laughs> you know, you can't do anything, okay? Getting to the office to come here, it takes energy because I'm like, hey, got to go to the office. Love you. Got to go slay the dragon, right? And she's just like, no, like, you know, I love you. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't know. Uh, right? But that's, that's, that's the price that you pay when you want to be in a relationship, a long-term relationship, right? But it's extremely fulfilling. It is ex extremely fulfilling. Anyway, I'm sorry. I go off on these fucking rants. This guy here, he was here about a year ago, and it took him quite a while to finally let go and just 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 let go and stop trying so hard right so at first he begged pleaded and did all that shit the normal stuff that guys fucking do these days and then then he said you know what i'm done i don't fucking care anymore and part of that was because some girl was eyeing him and i told him not to date her because he was still emotionally wrapped up but right but he um he was just in it to have fun, which is what all relationships should start like anyway. Everybody is like, oh man, I'm looking for a relationship or I'm looking for a companionship. You will attract that. Like attracts like. But here's the thing, you can't be like 
like hungry or are thirsty for it. You need to, you know, become the person that other people want to be with, right? Having a calm emotional center, having your shit together, your finances together, blah, blah, blah. I say that in every video, right? So when he finally did that, he finally let go. He got his shit together, right? So him and I started working on the finances. He started, he put up a couple of new blogs. Um, and for full transparency, one of the blogs is starting to work and the other one is just, it's, it's a slow grind. Um, so I'm helping him with that. He also started doing, um, uh, like, like, um, freelancing and stuff like that while working his job. So now instead of having days off where he fucking games, I'm like, move the needle forward that day, read this that day, do that that day. That's what mentorship really does. But, but I'm telling you guys, mentorship is more you than it is me. Okay. I'm not going to take your hand and walk you to success. And that's why he was so successful. He walked himself there. Right. And I just gave him a nudge, right? Boom. There you go. Boom. Okay. <laughs> I looks, that looks so stupid on, on camera. So look, th that's how it works with mentors and, and teachers. Okay. I tell you, hey, this is where I'm at. And meant students are like, I want to be there. Okay. And yeah, you, you, you can do it 100%. But you need to focus. You need to put the work in. So he did all that. Started talking to new girls. Especially one. Right. Guess who the fuck started coming around. Right. I think she was dating a new guy. I don't know. Right. I, I didn't really ask him about the situation too much. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, it, I just assumed that she was. Usually what, what ends up happening guys is the girls that your, your, your exes, right? They'll go and see some new dickhead. Okay. What'll end up happening is she dumps you because you're not in it in her mind right now, right now, right? Usually in complacency, insecurity, whatever. She'll start seeing this new dickhead. He gets in her bad graces as well. He's not pulling shit together either. He was just that new exciting thing. And she's like, what the fuck? So then she calls you. She talks to you. You're doing better. You're in shape. You're working on your business. When she talks to you, you're not fucking crawling up her ass trying to figure out why our relationship didn't work. Now, on an energetic level, what that really means is you stopped caring. Okay? You pull up the David, the, the Hawkins uh, levels of consciousness, right? And you'll see all the colors. Okay? If my editing was better, I'd put it up here for you, but... Uh, I have time, I do, but I'm just not doing it. So if you pull up and you look at all the colors, right? When you have a color and usually people are hanging out like, you know, in the courage neutral area when they're starting relationships. Also, some people are carrying baggage, so they'll be carrying red. Now, if you have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, you have to look at the map. But basically the map starts in red, goes up to like green and blue and then purple uh, and red being the worst, purple being the best. So... When you are on the same color or higher, right, than her, she's going to be interested in you on, an, on a spiritual level. And how that works is when you are on in a good color, I'm just simplifying the fuck out of this so you guys are like, you know, following along. When you're good, you're going to be very confident. You're going to be, you're not going to be so worried about what people think about you. If you're fearful, right? or you're full of grief, or you're full of shame, especially, you're going to be worried about what people think about you, which brings your color down to red. And again, I'm just simplifying this. So when you're full of fear, you're full of doubt, you're full of anger, you, you, you're, you're desiring her. And just again, look at the map, the map of consciousness. Now, if you do coaching with me, I'll send you this, right? And then I'll explain how it works. But when you are in the neutrality section, or courageous section, right? That's when you're going to have people being more attracted to you. Okay. And again, if there's a vibratory mismatch, you will not be able to keep the person in your life. Women date up even physically, right? Spiritually, all that shit. And that's why, because they're trying to go up and they're learning from you. Right. And then you have this, this, this bond together and nobody that's in a, in a high vibratory state has a good bond with somebody in a low vibratory state. That's just never happens. And on the physical world, how we see that with our eyes is people that have a lot of money, people that have a lot of um, high net worth, top shelf friends. Okay. Top shelf. I stole that from Rich Cooper. So, you know, people don't like that. Don't hang out with bums 
or or angry people that hate everyone and, and all that shit. They just don't. It's again, it's a vibratory mismatch. I hope this makes sense to you because that is how you're going to ha start having real um, awareness about your interactions with people. So when you get rid of your financial stress, you don't have stress like that anymore. Yeah, you start making 15000 a month, right? When you make that kind of money, you don't really need much more than that. Everyone's like, oh, I want to have 10 cars and you know, five houses and whatever. But from an actual needs standpoint for you to feel extremely abundant, and when you feel abundant, you're going to be high on those colors. That, you know, so a, side, a few side hustle projects will get you to that level. But it does take focus. It's not get rich quick. I promise you that. But it's worth it. Because if you're in your 20s, especially, by the time you reach your 30s, you're going to be set. Okay? You're going to be making enough, enough cash flow from your business that you can put it into investments for later. Now, if you really scale your business up, right? 100 grand, 150 grand a month, social media marketing agencies and stuff like that. The stuff that I'm doing you can really get up to that investment level much quicker. So um, some people will have an agency, for example, and they'll make that much money. They'll make six figures monthly. And what they do is they take that money and they're like, okay, I'm going to put this into aggressive. Uh, you know, people are doing with crypto right now, right? So, um, but again, you aren't going to be able to even talk to people that will give you advice about this unless you are at that same vibratory level, which means... If you can't pay your bills and you're working a job, right, then you're not going to be able to talk to somebody who's going to be like, oh, put your money here. It'll do this for you. And you're going to get like 25 X returns. That's that's that just doesn't happen. Right. So you have to pull yourself up out, get yourself to a good level and, and you have energy. That's the thing. That's the, the main lesson at the end of the day. That's why he got his girl back. His energy completely shifted and changed. So his energy went from, you know, scarcity, um, lacking, I don't deserve you, to fuck you, don't need you, you're gonna have to work for me now, right? And I know all of you want to get there. And that is how you do it. You reverse engineer what works in relationships, you get rid of the shit that doesn't work, right? Become aware of it first through reading, mentorship, coaching, whatever. You don't have to do coaching. There are so many videos out there on this that you can learn it all for free. That's fine. But what I'm, what, what they all, I pro, here's the thing. Here's as a coach. Here's what it leads to. You always need to work on you every fucking time, no matter what, no matter what coach you speak to. Okay. They'll talk to you all day about tactics and no contact and how to get your ex back and blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, the only thing that moves the needle forward is self work, becoming aware of what you need in your life. And it comes down to a few pillars, health, wealth, personal development. So what the fuck is going on up in this thing? Okay. Your social network of friends um, and relationships. When those five pillars right? Spokes on a tire, like Rich talked about. Rich Cooper's got a video. Um, fuck. It was like what most men don't understand or something like that. And he talks about spokes on a tire and they become red pilled. They learn all this stuff. And then they don't, they only, they do all the work on one spoke and they don't do the rest of the work. So the tire starts going, dump, dump, dump. that's, that's, that's I, from a coach. He's way ahead of me. He's got way more views than I do, but that's exactly what people do. They learn how to do this and they're like, okay. Like no, there's no gusto. You need that. So coaching's down below. I can help you. If you don't want to do it, just fucking do the work. At the end of the day, all right? Coaching's down below, masculineenergy.net, done.